Yes. Tone was set very early, wasn't it? Wild and Yee, just as we saw on the run in the individual race. And I bet Hayden Wild's not going to touch his helmet strap. It, it did look really harsh, didn't it? And New Zealand, in the end, had to settle for fourth place. Oh, good landing, nice routine. There's the error, the frustration from the Scott, Georgia Adley. He hits, he hits some wonderful shots. Also some errors there, but his ability in the key moments to keep coming up with the big plays kept him in the game. He'd be very disappointed. He didn't take that fourth game. He led 10-9. Had a chance, would have been interesting to see it go into a fifth just to see how Paul Cole would have coped, but he's happy just to get off, get some recovery, get some food, and think about tomorrow's quarterfinals. That made it 9 1. 10 1 was then extended. And this was another good ball. It was just dropping all the way in. Taylor Royce, one of our best balls of the game. By a split decision. In the blue corner. Well, I am very, very surprised Gaynor. at that. I didn't see it. He landed some good shots, but I think overall they were they were negated by the better and cleaner work from Eo Richardson. For me, I thought he, I thought that was his best round, the last round, and with it going level into the, into the final round, I thought that was enough to get him the win. But good fight, though, wasn't it? No longer needs a wassy. Flicks it back to Longbottom, but Moses Leo's onto it for New Zealand. Oh, oh lovely. what an offload that is from Moses Leo. And we have been treated to a, a match worthy of a gold medal contest here. New Zealand take bronze in Birmingham. Trying to do a little paddle clock. There is, and there's another goal on the far post, and it's that man again, Hugo Ingalls, who doubles the lead. But now with two laps to go, when they come round the finish line, Corbin Strong is being maneuvered into position by his teammate. Looks round, checks where Corbin Strong is. Strong now in gold medal pole position in third wheel there. He picks the wheel of Ethan Beeman. Here comes Corbin Strong. Reese Williams up alongside him. Williams, Williams and Strong. Corbin Strong gets the gold medal. Dominated the final sprint to finish ahead of all his nearest rivals. One or two now is becoming equally and increasingly so. The New Zealanders closing the right on the touch. He gets it. He gets it on the touch. What a finish that was from Josh Wilmer. Oh, gold medal has not. The UP will get second place. And these are the gold and silver medalists embracing. James Guy coming back. And so is Bowen Goff. Bowen Goff coming through as well in lane number six. It's going to be lane four. It's going to be Lewis Clever. Lewis and Jane Yes, it is. Lewis Clever gets it. Two Australians getting second and third, but uh, it's the Kiwis who are on the top rung this time. Oh, what a time, what a finish. <laughs>